to make the show what it is. That is, the acting, the dance, the music, and lighting design, sound design, uh, stage management, controlling of those things in a program. So the audience gets the whole show presented in its entirety without any hitch. That's clever. So um, the genre is verbatim theatre. Uh, verbatim, the way that we've, we've gone about using it is uh, recorded delivery. So we record the people, edit it down, then we put it into our iPhones or recording devices, then the headphones then are put into our ears. And then literally every single sound, movement, cough, stutter, word, you can, you can hear them move a chair, m like move their hair or something like that, we have to do. So my character, she, she coughs a lot, she tuts a lot, you can, you, you can hear her breathe. So I need to make sure every, every part of the, I, of, of the recording I use, which is a great thing about verbatim because it's natural. It's not, you know, it's not written. It's not, it's not written for a purpose for that audience to, you know, for them to feel an emotion towards it. It's just straight away from somebody's story shared to you in a natural you know, easy, easy way. The Bluebell Railway's Metropolitan set is a set of four coaches built two in 1898 and two in 1900. Uh, in 1898 they were built in Ashbury's in Manchester, um, but it, when the Met came to order some more in 1900, every railway company in the country wanted to order more coaches for the new century. So whilst they were able to order some for quick delivery from Ashbury's, they had to place part of the order with Cravens in Sheffield, Craven Brothers, and they actually ended up building six more coaches themselves at Neasden Works. Because um, prior to 1900, you could order some coaches and get them delivered eight weeks later, but such was the pressure on workshop capacity in 1900 that there were some railway companies that ordered stock and didn't receive it for two years. So uh, hence the Metropolitan did actually manage to get their order delivered, but only by splitting the order and doing some themselves. Falling 